Yes, we're breaking the fourth wall. So Dave and Marty have been doing this thing in the afternoon to make things a little bit more fun every year. So really, if, if you want to see this better, because these are Mr. Poor CEO and his friend. Take it away. Hello, everyone. Uh, first, we have to start with our disclaimer that uh, the statements you're about to hear are those of the puppets and not of the puppet operators or their associates or affiliates. Uh, the uh, title of this panel is uh, you know, The Top Ten Things Puppets Care About. Uh, the subtitle is uh, The Ten Things That Really Tick Us Off. And I'm going to turn it over to Marty to talk about that. You know what ticks me off, Dave? What ticks you off? The pay ratio rule, or as I call it, the Median Employee Full Employment Act. Right? I got to go through all this stuff to find my median employee, and then I have to spend the next three years hoping to God he or she doesn't quit. <laughs> and so, you know, I've got to do the median employee parking space out front. I got to do everything else. So that ticks me off, man. Well, me, as a median employee, I'm pretty excited <laughs> about that. <laughs> one of the things that really ticks me off, talk about CEO pay ratio, is it's one of these uh, rules that the SEC has adopted because Congress has told them to do, and it's a bunch of special interest rules like CEO pay ratio, uh, things like the uh, conflict minerals disclosure rule, the uh, resource extraction issue rules. All these rules are not things that shareholders necessarily care about, they're things that special interests care about. And I'm really ticked off about that because that's ruining our securities disclosure system. Wow, that's a lot of an opinion for a median employee. <laughs> I, uh, you know what ticks me off, Dave? What ticks you off? Justin Bieber, he just ticks me off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I uh, once at this conference said I was a believer and now I'm disavowing my <laughs> believeriness. Let's see, what else ticks me off? I can't remember. <laughs> Do we have any uh, folks in the audience that watch America's Got Talent? You'll have to clap because I have fixed plastic eyes and I can't see if you raise your hand. <laughs> well, if you watch America's Got Talent this year, you'll, you would have seen that the winner of America's Got Talent was a ventriloquist from the UK. Now, how talentless has America gotten that we had to go <laughs> to the UK and get a ventriloquist to give him a million dollars in a show in Las Vegas? A ventriloquist is not a real puppeteer. A real puppeteer gets down on the ground and hides behind a desk like a man. You know what ticks me off, Dave? What ticks you off? The clawback rule. And not because of the clawback rule itself, but because of the notion that in writing a rule that has no fault, where there's a restatement, what you're encouraging people to do is make the material decision that they don't have to do a restatement. You're right, nice work, Washington. Nice perverse, nice perverse consequences. Ticks me off. Speaking of ticking me off, you know what really ticks me off is proxy access. We talked about that on a panel a little while ago. And here we are thinking, yay, finally, proxy access is dead. And now all of a sudden it comes back and there's no good reason for it. People just doing it because they can. And I'm really ticked off about that. <laughs> You know what ticks me off, Dave? <laughs> what ticks you off? <laughs> um, shareholder democracy, right? If it's, a shareholder, if it's a shareholder democracy, then why doesn't the majority win according to ISS? When did 70 become the new 50 as far as, as, far as majority rule? Really, really ticks me off. Uh, I, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I'm apparently very easily ticked off. <laughs> you know what really ticks me what off? What ticks you off, Dave? If I was watching the fall TV lineup, and I think it was on one of the one of the networks. There's a Muppet Show reboot. Now, why the heck do you have to reboot everything? Reboot the Terminator. Reboot the Muppet Show. Do we really need the Muppets to now be neurotic jerks, which is what they are in this show? I just really don't think that's right for the Muppets, and it's not right for puppethood in general. The last thing that ticks me off, Dave. What's that? The Lego movie. <laughs> the Lego movie and its stop action ilk are stealing all the puppet roles out of Hollywood. And I've had enough of it. I'm, I'm, I, blame, I mean, you can't blame Chris Pratt because he's adorable, but I blame the movie itself. <laughs> so those are the things that tick me off. Do you have any more? Um, I don't know. I don't tick you off. No. <laughs> so, 
So with that, I think we should probably end because, as Dave pointed out, this, uh, this puppet thing can get out of hand pretty fast. So thank you all. Mm -hmm. So next year, the whole conference puppets.